souls that are bound free. We have power, those that are depressed, to give them the joy. <laughs> oh, I tell you what, we have the power to cause poverty to go and prosperity to come. It's time that we quit being bound by religion of yesterday. That, the, that there's nowhere in the Bible that backs the lifestyle of that religion that we was in. It's the time that you and I stand up and begin to be men and women, boys and girls, for the kingdom of God. Because we're supposed to be demonstrators Jesus, even as Jesus said here on this planet called Earth when he was here, that he said, I only do what I see my Father do. He was a demonstrator of his Father. Are we demonstrating what we're seeing? That's how we live? Or are we living a life trying to make heaven live what we live? And it don't work that way. We must see, then we must do. Come on. We must see how heaven is and then demonstrate it right here in this time called now. You are a mighty man and you are a mighty woman, boy and girl. You are mighty for the kingdom of God. And you was designed and purposed by God to be in this time right now. It's the greatest moment. It's the greatest hour. It's the greatest time. We're not looking for something to come in some day. But we are believing and knowing that right now we are in the greatest time that has ever been. In planet called Earth. Time is so excited. It's jumping. It's excited. It's dancing. It's twirling around. But yet, the body of Christ sits with their head hung down. No joy. No life. Depressed. Oppressed. It's time we rise up, body of Christ. I'm going to say it. It's time we grow up. It's time we grow into the greatness of the fullness of time. There's never been a time like this, and we're it. We are it. So let's go forth. Demonstrate the joy. Demonstrate the love of God to the fullness. Because if love joy which is God is in us then let's give it to the world I hope I'm challenging you right now this is your moment stop looking at your failures stop looking at your mistakes get up go forth and do what God's called